Hi friends, Carl here with another edition of Calm Survival. And today in our series of backup cooking solutions, we're going to look at alcohol fuel stoves. Now, keep in mind, we're not talking about hiking and camping. These stoves are extremely popular in that realm. And so there's a wide variety, but we're just looking at the basics because I think they have some use as your backup situation, but that's going to be our main focus for uh, what we're talking about today. Now, at its heart, an alcohol burner is little more than a cup to hold the fuel. Alcohol vapor will burn in a controlled fashion. So this is a slightly modified uh, version of a beer can stove. Uh, it's, it was a bit of an experiment, it somewhat worked. But even though it only somewhat worked, it's still functional enough. Now you can do it, uh, if you're making your own, you can make them from everything from a small tuna uh, can, um, soda cans, beer cans, you can get them manufactured and they run the range from you know the cost of whatever container uh, into some of the titanium additions that are quite expensive all of those things are going to come with different compromises with some time and an exacto knife you can make one of these it takes a little bit of effort but if you have nothing but time, it's not that big of a deal. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, we have the Trangia stove set. Now, these are quite possibly one of the oldest and uh, most reputable alcohol burner stoves still on the market. They've been around for a really, really long time. They have a bunch of big advantages, um, but as you can see, the whole system, the whole set is the size of the pots. It is quite large. Uh, that can be a plus, that can be a minus. Depends on what you need. The biggest disadvantage of using the Trangia or the alcohol stove is you really don't get much for fuel uh, control. You kind of get an on and an off. Now the Trangia comes with this ring which you can slightly open a bit um, and then put on and that's to give you a simmer setting. The reality is is that you pretty much have to know where you're going to want it to sit and get it on there while everything is going. So it is, it is a bit of a, a task. You have to be quite quick. Then you can just snuff it out. Um, as you can see, this is really simple, no moving parts. It's really robust. So it can definitely be an option. Now, from our fuels description, um, alcohol does last a really long time in storage. So that could be a big advantage. And if you are looking at combining a small cooking set, that is something that you can keep on hand, that you can know exactly how much fuel you have and you want to do a little bit of hiking. There are lighter weight sets, there are lighter weight kits that you uh, can look into, but you'll have to do your own research on that. It's a very, very wide product category. And so there's better people than me to explain all the ins and outs. Just be aware that if somebody isn't telling you what compromise their particular system is making, uh, they either don't know or they're not telling you all of the information. Everything comes with a price. Sometimes it's monetary uh, and you can't cheat the laws of physics. Okay. So upsides, very, very simple to use. Um, no moving parts, relatively safe. Obviously still would be concerned about using this inside if I didn't have a carbon monoxide detector. But fumes wise, they're really not that bad. Downsides, short cooking time, 
and low overall heat output. Um, but that can be worked around as long as you're not cooking out of one single set for a dozen people, you're going to be fine. Very typically with a set like this, um, when I was planning for expeditions, excursions, I say expeditions, but multi-day carrying the equipment um, in large groups of people, uh, four people can comfortably um, use one of these uh, to get everybody fed. As you can see, the pots are reasonably large that come with the Trangia. Okay capacity of about a liter and a half each um, so two pot meals uh, and again because this is such an old system trangia in particular it's really well known there's recipes specifically for it so you could plan your entire stay at home around this it's been a quick overview on alcohol stoves again i'll do a full specific video on the use of the Trangia in particular because I think it's interesting and I think it's good information for people to have um, if they want to bring that as part of their um, maybe kit, something that they're not probably not going to use a whole lot. But it's not the worst option. This has been Calm Survival. I'm Carl. Stay safe.